this tutorial, I will be showing you how to achieve a very wearable look for everyday use. Something that enhances your natural beauty without looking like too much. And for those wondering who this girl is, that is my cousin Ashley. I will be using her as the model for this video. Hope you enjoy the tutorial and let's get started. Start off by moisturizing your skin. Whether you plan on wearing foundation or not, this is an important step. Moisturizing helps your makeup glide on more smoothly and if you have dry skin, it helps reduce the patchiness and flakes that tend to be magnified when you apply foundation. If you plan on using a foundation or tinted moisturizer, make sure you apply a face primer beforehand. Face primers help your foundation last longer. Now I will be color correcting Ashley's acne. Depending on how bad your acne is and what type of coverage you desire, you might want to skip this step. Pimples tend to be red, so the color corrector you would want to use over a pimple is green since green cancels out red. I dab the color corrector over each pimple. You get better coverage with foundations, concealers, correctors if you dab or stipple it on rather than wiping or smudging it on. Next I apply a tinted moisturizer. I prefer tinted moisturizers for daily use over foundation since it has a lighter coverage and doesn't look as cakey. If you still feel like you need more coverage, you can use a concealer over those missed areas the foundation didn't hide. I didn't feel like Ashley needed more coverage, but I ended up applying concealer just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Make sure you set the foundation with a translucent powder. This step is especially important for those who have oily skin since it helps absorb excess oil, which in return helps your foundation last longer. Then use a bronzer or blush to add warmth to your face. I think this step is important for mostly everyone since it helps liven up your skin and since we are going for a very natural makeup look, make sure your bronzer or blush is matte which means it contains no shimmer. For the eyes, start off by applying an eyeshadow primer. You want to use an eyeshadow that is two to three shades darker than your natural skin tone in the crease. This helps define your eyes. And use an eyeshadow that is two to four shades lighter than your natural skin tone around the tear duct and under the brow bone. This helps brighten up the eyes. Remember to use matte shadows since these look most natural. To define your lashes, use an eyeliner pencil which will look more natural than a liquid or gel liner. I had to focus on Ashley's right eye. She was missing a few lashes there because she let her little sister use an eyelash curler on her, so her sister accidentally pulled the lash curler, taking some of Ashley's eyelashes with it. You can curl your lashes before applying mascara, but I didn't want to do that to Ashley after her traumatic experience, so just make sure you apply lots of mascara to your top lashes. On the waterline, you can apply a white or nude eyeliner, which will help brighten up your eyes and make them appear wide awake. I like to use a lip liner as my lip color for the day, since it helps define the lips and looks more natural than a lipstick or lip gloss. Plus, it lasts longer. Use one that is similar to your natural lip color. And finally, on the cheeks, use a color similar to the color your cheeks change into when you're really hot or blush. This will be the most natural looking color for your makeup, which helps with the whole natural, not too much makeup look. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for those of you who need an everyday makeup look. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, it means a lot to me. And for my last video question, I asked you guys, what hair color do you like best out of these three picks I showed you? And Mila was the winner, followed by Cameron Diaz, and then Megan Fox. I'm going to do a hair glaze pretty soon and I'll show you guys how it turns out because I know a lot of you are interested in getting a hair glaze. So for this video, let me know if there was only one makeup item you can apply to your face every day, what would it be? For me, this question is so easy. Mascara, I honestly think that if your eyelashes look good, you look better. Like you look more awake, your eyes look bigger and doll-like. I just love mascara. So let me know what product you choose or you would choose in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Now you're modeling. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm trying to act sexy. That's your goal here. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch.